Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another iOS Jailbreak Zone tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own winterboard theme for um, iPhones, iPods, or even iPads. Um, before I get started though, I'd like to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Um, it has been six months since I started working on YouTube, and I've got a fair amount of views. It's over 130,000 now, so thanks for all the support you've given me. Um, I'm making this video because I recently got a request on one of my other videos. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Now, you will require a jailbroken device. If you don't know how to jailbreak, then um, be sure to check out my videos. I've got uh, a couple of videos on my channel on how to jailbreak um, on iOS 6. Uh, you will have to be on 6.1.2 or below. Um, you can check that uh, by going to settings. And um, you will also need to SSH into your device. And if you don't know how to do that either, then um, I also have a video on how to do that, as you can see. Um, I'll leave all these links down below in the description so you can just find it. So now once you have done all of that, all you have to do is just go to www.codethemed.com. Um, it's a free website and it lets you build uh, amazing themes for your um, for your videos, uh, for your device, sorry. Um, as you can see, I did make, make a test theme. I'm going to make another one just to show you guys. Uh, you will have to register uh, just to save your themes. I'm just going to show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to sign out real quick. You can sign up or sign in, which I'm going to do in a sec. I'm just going to pause this video and come back. So guys, once you've um, signed up and signed in, all you have to do is just hit this blue button which says build a theme. And um, it'll ask you if you want to make a theme for iPhones, iPods or iPad or an iPad mini. I'm just going to select iPhone theme because uh, I'm going to be using my iPod Touch for generation for this video. Um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It has a, it has quite a cool interface. Um, the request that I got was actually how to make your own slider knob. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, you can select one of these over here, or you can make your own. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to find one from Google. So just go to google.com. Yep, and search for iPhone sliders. Yep, then go into images. Just go into uh, more. Sorry, search tools, go into size, exactly. Uh, the width is 71 pixels and the height is 47, I'm pretty sure. So just hit go. And as you can see, all of these um, sliders are for iPhones. You can just right click and save image into your computer. And then all you have to do is just hit the upload button and upload it. I've actually uh, uploaded this picture already. So I'm just going to select this. It's a thumbs up button from Facebook, which I made um, using Photoshop. So um, you can uh, do that to make your slider knob, then go into st a status bar, uh, just select any of these. I'm not going to do too much, and uh, once I'm done with all of these um, changes, I'll, I'll be back. So guys, welcome back. As you can see, I did choose a pink background that's so my color, um, plus I did also um, change some of the icons to um, pretty much a wide variety of different um, genres. And what I'm going to do now is just um, uh, find a different color for these these icons at the top right here. So I'm just going to go into icons, and as you can see, um, I can select from all these different colors. I'm just going to make it all green because it's it's a quite nice color. You can also choose the um, time style. I'm just going to make it. Uh, let's try this one. And you can even make your time bigger if you want. I'll just make the font as big as it goes. And I'll just say slide to unlock. Oh, wait. Yep, as you can see, my time's like massive right now. Um, but that's just how I want it for, for this video at least. So um, you can also change a lot of the other settings there and even upload your um, theme to Cydia. So what I'm going to do now is just save changes. Uh, I'm going to name it... Uh, iOS jailbreak zone test theme. Yep, and from category, I'm gonna select abstract and just make it public so other people on this website can download it. So if you'd like to have this theme, just uh, look it up. And it's now saving the theme. I'll close that tab, and um, as you can see, it's saved. I'm just gonna hit download now. Uh, I'm gonna download it as a zip file. I've got an iPod Touch, so I'm just going to 
Wait a sec. I chose the iPod Touch 5G, but that's no problem. I'm just going to cancel this and choose fourth generation iOS 6.1.2. The stick download. Yep. As you can see, it's now starting. Um, I'm just going to wait for the download to finish, and while that's happening, I'm just going to open up WinSCP. Um, so as you can see, the download just completed. I'm also going to open up my downloads folder and just extract these files over. There's only one file, guys. I'm just going to um, delete this zip file. I can do that later. I'll just leave it as it is. Um, now, all you have to do is select your device. If you if you already did your um, um, SSH, then all you have to do is just open up your device from the list. And um, as you can see, it's now connected. Now, once it is connected, um, all you have to do is just select this uh, drop-down menu and go into VAR or VAR. Then just open up Stash and um, hit any of these themes folder. And uh, as you can see, this one has most of the uh, de default winterboard themes, so this should be the one. So I'm just gonna uh, extract, I uh, actually copy these files over. Once you hit copy, it's gonna copy. Um, as you can see, it's it's gonna take some time. It's not responding at the moment, but it should be fine. It's gonna exit this. Yep, as you can see, it just copied it in. Um, wait, I can't find it, but anyways, I'm just going to uh, check on my device. Uh, as you can see, it just appeared. Now I'm going to get back to you on my device. So guys, as you can see, um, all the icons have changed. All I had to do was just open up Winterboard um, and go into Select Themes and select my theme. Now I'm just going to go back. Um, as you can see, all the icons have changed, um, only the ones that I changed actually. Um, as you can see, I still have that pink background. Um, if I just lock lock my uh, device, and as you can see, the um, slider knob has also changed. So that was a success. Um, if you had any problems during the process, um, then just be sure to inbox me or just leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And now I'll um, stop this video right here, and I'll get back to you on my computer. So welcome back, guys. Um, if you if you were able to uh, make your own theme and activate it with Winterboard, um, then just be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. It does help me out a ton, and it helps me find out if my uh, tutorial actually worked for you. Um, also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you uh, have any problems during the process. And if you'd like to see more great videos like this, then just be sure to hit subscribe. Um, I already have a thousand subscribers, and I might be doing a giveaway very soon. Um, so just just subscribe to stay tuned for that. So guys, thanks again for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.